today I just want to share a story about one of my favorite heroines of American and Canadian history. Who is it? Harriet Tubman, Mother Moses, m -m 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 Mother Moses. She was the leader of a huge, massive migration where she was like a fugitive slave. She could have been abducted. She could have been just readily, stealthily punished by the, the, the slave owners in the South. She escaped slavery, but just like the OG that she is, she made it to freedom in Philadelphia, but then subsequently went back to Maryland where, it w where slavery was still legal to retrieve many of her family members. And, and you know, like hundreds, we're talking hundreds, she brought from slavery into freedom. A heroine in American history, Black History Month, my girl, m -m -m mother Moses, the bow tie guy and wife, I think it is imperative to bring you heroes and heroines of American history, world history, African Americans that changed the world, baby. Rosa Park, she was OG as OG gets. She was a trendsetter, baby. And you know what, when she had the opportunity, she said no, because sometimes one of the greatest things you can say is no. Speak up or speak out. You need to stand for something, baby. You're going to fall for anything. And you know what? She wasn't going to fall for the segregationist policies of the South. No, no way, Jose. You know why? Because what she did is that she was not going to bring herself to a level where she was going to subscribe to second class citizenship in the United States. The United States Constitution makes no provision for that. And Rosa Parks, along with Martin Luther King Jr. led the Montgomery bus boycott to put an end to those segregationist and unconstitutional activities. Black history is American history and world history as well. Now, talking about these abolitionists, I wanna talk about my girl, Sojourner Truth, Black History Month. Sojourner Truth could speak fluent Dutch. Yeah, you heard me right. Now, she escaped slavery and she was known as an, an abolitionist and a suffragette for that matter. Now, I will tell you this, her greatest speech, yeah, she was a preacher preaching that word of God. Her greatest speech, Ain't I a Woman, where she states the case of equity and, and depravity that the woman, that the female has suffered through the course of history. Now, <laughs> I love how she reminded the audience in one of her speeches that even Jesus came from what? A woman! Sojourner Truth, Black History Month. Yeah, favorite African-American history makers, breaker, shaker from American history is the scientist, African-American scientist, rocking, weaving, bobbing, rolling, George Washington Carver, the amazing peanut farmer. We're talking, this guy right here took something as simple as a peanut and found tons of uses for them that we didn't even think. Paint, come on and jam. Now, George Washington Carver had a connection in Booker T. Washington at the Tuskegee Institute, and he was a professor, worldly renowned, and, and he really helped the farmer, the southern farmer, uh, especially in the turbulent economic times post-reconstruction in trying to develop a, a new system uh, of agriculture and utilizing something as simple as a peanut baby. And, 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 and there's all kinds of uh, soil qualities that, that, that were enhanced by planting peanuts. Check it and wreck it. Literary giant a potent symbol of intellectual accomplishment despite the conditions of the late 1700s. This person was a giant in the fact that she mastered the English language, mastered the Greek and Latin language, published poetry of a wide, diverse, beautiful, colorful spectrum, and was renowned by the father of our country, George Washington. She was captured, yeah, well, she was abducted from West Africa and imported en route from a slave ship into Boston where she served in servitude. Yes, I'm talking about American heroine, literary giant, Phyllis Wheatley. If you don't know, now you know. And if you wanna know more, look her up, baby, because black history is American history. You don't stand for something, baby. You don't fall for anything. Rosa Parks, an American heroine, she refused to get up when a white man asked her to, because it, it, according to the white man, the United States Constitution makes a provision for second-class citizenship. Wrong! Now, with her good friend, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. of Montgomery, Rosa Parks and King and others 
advanced the African-American civil rights fight in Montgomery, not by uh, inciting riots and violence, no. What they did, they utilized the, the, the powerful nature of nonviolent resistance. They organized the Montgomery bus boycott and actually uh, a method of transportation throughout Montgomery uh, that was heavily and readily used by African-Americans in the city. Uh, they told them to stop riding the bus. And guess what? Uh, the Montgomery uh, transportation system lost a ton of money. And you know what? You could pack a powerful punch with your wallet, if you know what I'm saying.